In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus PbNO3 2, barium chloride plus lead 2 nitrate. The first thing we do to balance net ionic equations is we have to balance the molecular equation. That's this equation here. So I can see at this point, everything's the same on both sides. So this is already balanced. So that's kind of nice. Next, we can write the state for each substance. Chlorides are very soluble, if you know your solubility rules. It's going to be aqueous, it's going to dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Compounds with nitrates, also very soluble. So put an aqueous here, and for the barium nitrate, that's going to be aqueous. Chlorides, we said, in general, are soluble with just a few exceptions. One of the big exceptions is lead to chloride. This is not soluble in water. It's insoluble, and for that reason, it won't dissolve. It'll stay a solid, and it'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So this is a precipitation reaction. We have the states, now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. Barium, group two on the periodic table is two plus, and then the chloride ion, one minus. So we have Ba two plus, and I won't write the states now, let's do that at the end. Plus we have two of these chloride ions, so two Cl minus. Lead we can't tell just by looking at it, we have to look at what it's bonded to. The whole nitrate ion, is one minus, and we have two of them. So the lead has to be two plus. So we have the lead two ion, Pb, two plus, and then we have two nitrate ions. For the products, barium was two plus, the nitrate ion one minus, so we have Ba, two plus, plus again we have two nitrate ions, just like the reactants. And then with net ionic equations, we don't split solids apart. So we're going to leave this together as PbCl2. This is the complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. So as we look at this, we have our reactants and our products. In the reactants, I have this barium ion. I also have it in the products. That's a spectator ion. So on both sides, cross it out. I have two nitrate ions in the reactants and in the products. Spectator ions will be crossed out. What's left is the net ionic equation for BaCl2 plus PbNO3 2. I'll clean this up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium chloride and lead to nitrate. You can see the charge is conserved. I have two times one minus, that's two minus. With the two plus, that adds up to zero, net charge is zero. This is a neutral compound, net charge is zero. And the atoms, they're balanced as well. Sometimes you'll see the positive ion written first with net ionic equations. Doesn't really matter. It looks a little nicer, I guess. That's it. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for BaCl2 plus PbNO3 2. Thanks for watching.